Today's medical-centric topic is Understanding Flathead Syndrome, Plagiocephaly in Babies. Flathead syndrome, also known as plagiocephaly, is a condition that affects some babies, causing a flattening at the back or side of the head. Understanding the causes, symptoms, and available treatments for plagiocephaly is important for parents and caregivers. In this video, we will delve into the details of this condition to promote awareness and provide guidance for managing and preventing flathead syndrome in babies. Causes of Flathead Syndrome The primary cause of flathead syndrome is prolonged pressure on a particular area of a baby's head. This pressure can occur due to several factors including 1. Positional preference Babies who consistently rest their head in the same position while lying down, such as favoring one side, are at a higher risk of developing a flat spot. 2. Restricted movement Factors that limit a baby's movement or mobility, such as prematurity, muscle tightness, or torticollis, tightening of neck muscles, can contribute to the development of flathead syndrome. 3. Multiple births Twins or multiples are more prone to developing flathead syndrome due to limited space in the womb and the potential for increased pressure on the head. 4. Placental positioning in some cases, the position of the placenta during pregnancy may restrict the baby's movement and lead to a development of a flat spot. 5. Premature birth Premature infants have softer skulls and are more susceptible to developing flathead syndrome due to their extended periods of immobility and time spent in a hospital environment. Symptoms and Diagnosis The following signs and symptoms may indicate the presence of flathead syndrome. 1. Flattened area. The affected area of the head appears flattened. 2. Asymmetry. The head may appear uneven or asymmetrical when viewed from different angles. 3. Limited neck movement. Babies with flathead syndrome may exhibit restricted neck movement, preferring to look in one direction. 4. Facial asymmetry. In severe cases, Facial asymmetry may be noticeable, with features appearing slightly misaligned. Diagnosis of flathead syndrome is typically made through a physical examination by a healthcare professional, such as a pediatrician or pediatric specialist. They will assess the baby's head shape and evaluate any associated factors, such as neck mobility, to determine the severity of the condition. Treatment and Prevention Treatment options for flathead syndrome aim to alleviate the pressure on the affected area and promote healthy head development. Here are some approaches. 1. Repositioning techniques. Regularly change the baby's head position during sleep and awake time. Encourage supervised tummy time while the baby is awake to reduce pressure on the back of the head. 2. Neck exercises. If muscle tightness or torticollis is contributing to the flat spot, your healthcare provider may recommend gentle stretching exercises to improve neck mobility. 3. Helmet therapy. In more severe cases, or when repositioning techniques are not effective, a custom fitted cranial helmet may be prescribed. The helmet helps reshape the head by applying gentle, constant pressure on the protruding areas while allowing for growth and development in other regions. 4. Parental Education Educate parents and caregivers about the importance of repositioning techniques, tummy time, and providing opportunities for movement and neck mobility to prevent flathead syndrome. It is worth noting that some degree of flattening is common in newborns and often resolves naturally with repositioning techniques and normal growth and development. Regular checkups with the pediatrician allow for monitoring and early intervention if needed. Flathead syndrome, or plagiocephaly, is a condition that affects some babies, resulting in the flattening of the back of the head. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.